what is up everybody welcome back to another day in the life as a daycare provider so i know that this is not how i typically start my videos but a lot has changed in the last two months i know that i haven't been updating you guys a lot as to what's going on but my routine did change and i thought that i would share it with you guys in today's video so if you guys are new to my channel my name is ashley i am an in-home daycare provider i have been providing daycare services from my house for six years now and I'm just going to be taking you guys along a typical day with me. So currently it is 6, I don't know if you guys can see that, 6.30 in the morning. And I wake up at 3.50 in the morning every day. Not every day, the days that I work out. So I wake up at 3.50 and then I go to the gym and the gym opens at 4.30. So I get ready, I go to the gym, I work out and then I come home, shower, get ready for the day and that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I also wanted to tell you guys that I did put up my fall decor, some of it, not all of it. But look at my front door, my little scarecrow. I also redid some of the daycare, like I added new shelving, we painted the daycare. So I'm gonna show you guys all of that today. So let me go ahead, go shower, get ready so I can look decent and then I'll show you guys a little bit later. guys so it is currently 7 19 i don't know if you guys can yeah there's 7 19 so i already made myself coffee there are a few things that i like to do before daycare or i try to do before daycare or before a lot of my kids come and um those things are like feed the cats clean the kitty litter i like to get that out of the way sweep the bathroom so that there's nothing on the floor that the one that the kids use and then there's something else Windex a little bit of the house if it's needed or dust or whatever. So my cats um, I don't know what they do at night, but anytime I wake up there's paw prints on my furniture So there are paw prints. I'm gonna show you guys right now and they drag me crazy I don't like seeing it. So those are some things that I like to do before daycare I have 10 minutes. It's not gonna take me 10 minutes to do the kitty litter and Windexing the table, but I'm gonna go ahead and start doing those things and then I'll continue on So let me show you the paw prints first off do you see the paw prints right there? That's a paw print right there. And there's paw prints all over this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and Windex that, do the kitty litter, feed these crazy cats, and then I'll continue on with my day. Right, guys so it's 7 34 i have no children here yet my first child normally arrives at 7 30 but recently the child has been coming like at 7 50 ish so nobody's here um i'm gonna turn on my humidifier my my essential oil diffuser really fast i just want to do some lemon i'm gonna start breakfast probably like at 7 45 i forgot that today is my son's first day of school he's doing remote um, and he has to be on the computer by 8.20, so I'm gonna see if my husband can wake him up now, get him ready so that he can eat and be ready by at least 8.15, and then he can like get on the computer and stuff like that. I also wanted to answer a question. Some people are asking me like how I'm gonna do it whenever my son goes back to school. I thankfully have the luxury to where my husband can help my son when it comes to remote. That's what happened towards the end of the year last year. My husband helped my son with the remote, um, at home computer situation for the end of the year and that's what's gonna happen for this part of the year I originally wanted to send my son to school but there were some things that I didn't really feel comfortable with so I am going to be keeping him home for the first nine weeks you see this theme <laughs> so my son's breakfast is ready I just gave him two scrambled eggs with salt and then I do pancakes with a little bit of syrup on it so he's gonna eat hopefully he has time he starts at 8 20 it's 8 01 I want him to eat and I don't know, I just would like for him to relax for a little bit before having to start. But um, again, this is day one, so we're still adjusting. So I'm going to have him eat and then um, continue with the breakfast for the other kids. I always give you guys this tip. If you guys are providing meals in your program, um, 
and you're like the only provider and you don't have someone helping you always cook on medium because sometimes parents have stuff to tell you early in the morning um and you don't want to be cooking on high and not be able to go run to the door and then cook, you know what i mean like just cook on medium if you can so right now i have to make one more pancake i only have two students with me right now it is 8 22 um and there's no more drop off after 9 30 thought i would mention that to you guys so literally like within the next hour i should be getting the rest of my kids so of the six kids i have two so there are four more that need to arrive so this is all of the fall stuff that i did <laughs> all i did was add a fox with a pumpkin and that gold thing that's been there um, this says be kind and then my diffuser I just set it to green because I feel like it's like more fallish so that's all that I did aside from the scarecrow on the front door which I think I showed you this morning and then I added the little fall gummies I call them gummies on the sliding door I went to the dollar store this weekend and I also got these pumpkins for next month's curriculum I'm starting on it I'm almost done with it I don't know if you guys want to see a video on it but I like filled up my curriculum maps and I pulled all of the stuff that I needed for um, the first two weeks. I still have to pull the stuff that I need for the next two weeks. And what I mean by pull is like, for example, um, on week three, it says that they have to do a coloring sheet. So I don't have that coloring sheet printed yet. So I'm going to print it and get it ready so that the day of it's already set. So the first two weeks of next month's curriculum, I already have everything pulled. Um, week one is this bag right here. And then week two is this bag right here. And then I gotta do week three and four. So our theme is fall. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. Um, so we're gonna do this next month. Oh my gosh, look at It's okay, I could clean it. I can clean it. So we're gonna do these next month. And then I also got some fall books. These ones are Anthony's, my older son's. But like our letters are D and S for next month. So I found these at the library, which I was so excited about. Um, I believe this book is about D and then this one is about S and then this one has nothing to do with the theme but I'm looking for more nap time books to incorporate for nap time so I pulled this one and there's another nap time on this one <laughs> I already read this one to the kids this morning because they just wanted me to read this one so I read it and they loved it so these two are nap time books but other than that I have a whole bunch of fall books that I got and I do have to buy a few things orange tissue paper red tissue paper and then beads i want to make some bracelets for them and then i'm going to see if i can get some fall charms so that we can make the bracelet look more like fall so that's what's going on right there um let me know if you guys want me to do a video as to what exactly i'm doing with the kids because i wouldn't mind filming that for you guys i'm gonna just quickly show you guys the daycare like what it looks like right now and what i got going on um because i'm going to forget to do it later and i tidied it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more decent right now so let me show you guys what i got so i didn't have this shelf here before i had brown ones so i have the cots there still and then i bought this shelf off of target's website um these things by the way guys i don't know what was going on i don't know if during quarantine a lot of people wanted the, these kind of shelves but they were sold out everywhere and then where i did find them in stock they were selling them for like a hundred bucks each so i actually got two one is there and one is here and I paid $40 for each of them. They're doing what they need to do. I like them. The only thing I wish is that this had like a little bit more of a coating. Just because the kids sometimes do push the toys in aggressively. And I do have one of them have like has like a little bit of red paint from one of the toys. So I'm a little bit, you know, um, sad that it doesn't have a coating. But it's okay. It does what it needs to do. So... I'm trying to slowly transition my daycare to not have too many toys and then to have toys that are educational. So my problem right now is that I don't have a bin for the train tracks. That's why this is here like this. I want to be able to take a couple of pieces out of here and have them in one of the squares eventually. I just gotta buy like a box or somewhere to store it. I'll explain that in a second. So I have the train set here and then in here I have these snap bots. Uh, playing with a purpose she mentioned these in one of her videos and I got them for my kids and they really like them I was scared when I first bought them that the buttons were gonna be I don't know if you guys can tell they're like buttons like pant buttons and you have to connect them and they can build their own robot I was scared that the snappy parts was gonna be a little bit too hard for the kids but they actually snap really easily and the kids absolutely love this toy so again I want to see if I can 
store this in a nicer way to be able to put it in one of the squares but for now i just have it stored in the boxes so my infants really like the shape shorter the vacuum there's a guitar behind the vacuum the doctor set the books these all toys the infants really do like again i do have empty ones because i'm trying to buy new toys but then i also have to put the snap bots and the train set in there so i'm trying to work it so bear with me and then what i want to do is put a tv up here so i want to put a tv and i want to finish with my storage here so for that's for this wall i also wanted to put some floating shelves which i have inside of the house i just have to mount them to be able to put the controller for the tv on there um and anything else that i would need up there as well so i have the basketball hoop i did add this couch in here i've been had this couch for a long time but i put it here because i do want to buy a rug for this area so that we can do circle time in any of our like reading stuff or whatever on this rug right here and then i have the couch i still have the kitchen i only have one pack and play out which i'm going to condense it because i don't need it anymore i trained all of my kids to be on cots so the little ones that were in pack and play that's why you guys don't see any other pack and plays the little ones no longer use the pack and play so i'm gonna get rid of that i still have this vanity which i want to buy an updated one and I do want to buy an updated, newer version of the kitchen. But I wanted to ask you guys really quickly, if you guys are home daycares, do any of you guys have wooden kitchens? Because now that I think about it, this kitchen is really easy to clean. It's really easy to wipe down. Wooden ones, I don't know how it works. And anytime I look at reviews on wooden kitchens, I hear people say that um, the knobs and stuff break. But let me know if you have a wooden kitchen. And if you do, can you please link it for me so I can look at it? So I want to get a new vanity and I want to also get a new kitchen and then I did see a wooden rocking, not rocking, a wooden, it was like a bunk bed for the babies that I want to change this and get that one. The cars, I think I'm going to get rid of too. Nobody has touched these cars. I think that the kids like the other toys that we have that they don't want this anymore. But um, we're going to rotate toys accordingly and then I put the three basketballs under there so that they're not around and then the kids can use it for that. I have some blocks on the side of the house. The house we're keeping, the kids absolutely love it. Then they also have this um, kitchen set thing with the food in the middle. I've shown this before. The kids absolutely love it. It's normally right here. And then they can go in and out of the house. But because it's almost nap time, I push it to the corner because there's going to be a cot right there. My diaper station, I'm figuring that situation out. The changing pad is there. My arts and crafts stuff is there. And then our lap desks are dirty because the kids painted today as you guys can see the black paint that was my son and my son's lap desk is a mess so i'm going to clean that later and then i have my desk here and then the kids do also sit here as well and then these are the other toys i'm not going to go into too much detail but that's basically what i got going on here so that is what's going on in the daycare again i have to fix this window get that situated change the blinds change the blinds i'm trying to find some wall art to put on this corner over here and then um, eventually I would like to change out my sliding doors. I already told you guys about that. This light I also did change. It was black and I wanted to buy this nice scone light. It was very pretty, but it was glass. And then my husband made a good point that like if the kids are playing ball in here or whatever and they hit the light, it's gonna break. So I had to get something that was bulletproof not so much modern or fashion so i just changed it to a white one and guys i'm not even gonna front the squares have worked so well for cleanup because every toy has a home the kids know that every toy is supposed to be in the square now they sometimes don't put it in the right square but they know that one toy and all of its pieces goes in one square. So they might not do it right, but at the end of the day, when I tidy up the daycare and I try to organize it for the next day, it's so much easier to have everything in one square and I just organize it really quickly and then move on to the next one. So much easier. So I really like the square system that I got going on and that's basically what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these kids fed. I'm gonna put the cots down now while the food is cooking so that after they eat, we take them potty, wash their hands, and we can lay them down. All right, guys. So it is currently nap time. I'm talking before they all fall asleep. They're all in front of me right now. Um, I read them two stories. I read them nap time. And then I read them Scarecrow's Dance. Now, this book I would not recommend. Just because the words, the kids literally don't know what I'm saying. Like, he jogged and wrote. Wait, he jogged a row and trotted back along the cornfield's dirt-piled track. 
while high above his painted head the craze in calling the black crows fled like there is the words janelle they're not so this one is one of the ones that i'm going to return whenever i have a chance but nap time this one they liked it once they're all asleep that's when i part ways i'll go inside and i want to like i said finish my september like not the lesson plan because it's already planned but i have to like pull the stuff that i need so i just put my robe on because i am cold and i just want to be comfy the kids are sleeping and now i'm working on pulling the materials for september so what i'm doing is i'm just going by each square so i'm looking at what the square says so for example for fine motor on monday it says that we need to trace s and d activity so i printed them so i gotta cut them write the names and then that's done then coloring sheet is on tuesday so i found this coloring sheet um and that's going to be for tuesday and then on wednesday it says find the fox worksheet so i'm going to make one of these but i'm going to put a fox in it and then they have to find the fox so i'm going to work on that next the matching activity and then the giant beads and patterns that's a toy that i have in the daycare so i don't need to do anything for that so these two are done and i just need to work on these two and then have to make the flashcards. like what i'm basically doing is going square by square to see what i need like if i have to print anything etc for week three and then i'll do week four either today or tomorrow we'll see we'll see we'll see all right guys what is up it is anthony let me turn this off real quick so i don't get copyrighted boom all right so it is already snack time the kids are up the ones that have to go pee have peed and the ones that i needed to get changed are changed so i made these flashcards. i do not own the rights to these images i just google stuff and i make my own flashcards because i don't sell these i don't do anything with them all i do is use them for my personal like my personal use so those are the flashcards that i'm going to be using for week three and then there's a matching activity that i'm supposed to have and i found this off of google as well um the website is not on this page normally they have it on the bottom um and i don't crop it out because just in case you guys want to know like where i got these things from um but if you want have a question about where i got this just let me know and i can find it for you or you can just google fall leaf match activity for preschool and then maybe this one will pop up so i did that for the matching activity and then i made this one but the clip arts are not mine so i put some foxes some acorns a squirrel and a regular corn you what you found two seeds yeah don't eat them he's eating popcorn and i put like kernels in his that's my son um so he's separating them but anyways this activity is um find and circle the fox if you look at the top i wrote those instructions and then they would just have to find the foxes and circle them and then i did show you guys the coloring sheet that i just googled as well and then i also i made these in my computer and um they're like dotted so they have to trace them so that's all that i have done i think week three is done now i'm gonna triple check i'm gonna also put everything inside of the binder i have these clear sleeves towards the back and i'm just gonna separate everything and slide each activity into its own little sleeve so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so this is currently what the daycare looks like i'm showing you this because i'm gonna fix this we have the high chairs i always move them front because the kids like to touch the blinds so i just scoot them up a little bit so we have the high chairs looking like this they're not that dirty and then we have trash and then our chairs are messed up everywhere so i'm going to organize and clean this area now this is the bottle that i'm using but what is in here is not the method bathroom cleaner just thought that i would let you guys know um because the bottle that i used to use um for my cleaning stuff broke so i'm using this right now so this is not bathroom cleaner just thought i would let you know
the table is clean. I took out the recycling. High chairs are clean. This area is clean. All right, guys, so I just finished cleaning up the daycare. It's already done, tidied up. Um, I don't vacuum every day, like, in the daycare. Um, because, you know, they don't use shoes in here and it barely gets dirty in here. So I do it, like, every other day. So I'm not going to vacuum anything, but I already organized all of the toys. I have two students left and then my day is done. It is 5 o'clock. My first child left at 4 and then from there, everybody started to leave. So, like I said, I have two students left and then I'm done with my day. So that's basically the end of this video. I know that it wasn't as, um, that's why I haven't been filming a lot of day in the life is because not a lot of crazy things happen every single day. But um, once like my curriculum is done and stuff like that, I'm gonna see if there's a way for me to um, get the camera at angles where I can film like when we do circle time and when we do like our worksheets and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done for you guys. But that basically completes today's video. So please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video.